guys, how about that for a racket? Sure, the wife and my daughter don't appreciate that. It's uh, 9 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, thought I'd uh, get the camera set up just because this is going to be my first time doing an internal uh, threading job for a backplate, which is... Um, uh, the hole in the thread is 1.5 inch uh, HTPI. Alright, here we are. So um, I'm filming here with my little uh, handy cam. So it, it's a bit close, but um, maybe I should use my iPhone for wider angles. But anyway, this uh, this works good. So uh, yeah, I got, um, that's almost a one inch bit. It's uh, 900 and some odd thou. Uh, I got a Noga uh, mist right there set up for doing these kind of operations. Um, that is, uh, yeah, a um, bison chuck, um, really nice and true, turning, um, I think this is roughly uh, six inches or, sh and uh, the lathe is a Boxford AUD. Um, so this is very similar to a South Bend uh, lathe, uh, just the British version. A uh, lot heavier, uh, quite a bit heavier than a South Bend 10 right here. So I got a piece of plastic that I turned and this matches uh, pretty accurately the, um, as far as fit and uh, dimensions, the, um, the thread on the lathe itself. All right, let's do some boring. chips are hot. Christ! Should be wearing some sleeves. My god. Should be good. Yeah, let's see if my dear row is reading right. Let's see if I can read that pr properly. It's always good to practice. I uh, don't get to practice enough. I don't get to machine very often. So, all right. So, uh, oh yeah, one point three. Hmm. According to this, it's 1.35. All right, we're back at the lathe here for the internal threading operation. And um, I think I got this right. I got the compound. I don't know if you can see that in the camera here. Um, probably not in frame, but I got the comp. Let's see if I can back this up a little bit. Yeah, set up again. So uh, because I'm a... Uh, threading imperial on a metric lathe, I will not be able to disengage the uh, feed uh, the feed screw. So I'm going to have to stop the motor and put it in reverse uh, every time and dial back the, um, the um, cross slide as well too. So it can get a bit tricky so I'm not going to do very much talking and uh, we'll just get going. better with that on there. Okay. Okay. Set this to zero and back it off.
perfect fit. Like zero wiggle. That is very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, no wiggle. I gotta do Jesus, I'm just going to say I don't want to drop this on my fingers because I've done that before a couple times and it is not good. All right, well, let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, guys, man, does that ever fit nice. Yeah, no wiggle. Oh, that is just beautiful. And yep, nicely up against the register there. Very happy with that. Here, let me bring the camera around. And yeah, that's on there real nice. Yeah, super happy with that. Gonna take this off and uh, do the other one. Thanks for watching.